everyone welcome back to the learn daily physics and today you can see on your screen that we are going to talk about the equation of continuity for plasma so uh, basically we have seen equation of continuity in thermodynamics in electrodynamics so today we can say that we are going to talk about equation of continuity in fluid dynamics or fluid mechanics so let's start off a lecture now and let's understand what equation of continuity is. So we say that we have uh, N equals to plasma density. Let's say that we have a box or a container. You can say it's a container. And inside of this container, we have a volume of uh, let's say this is the volume V and inside this V we have n number of particles okay n number of particle is the plasma density over this volume so n is equals to plasma density number of particles per unit volume number of particles inside of this volume so what happens that u is the average velocity of a particle present in a unit volume. What we do is we say that the particles are not colliding so much. They are, uh, we say that their collisions are negligible. They are not colliding with each other. They, with each other they are negligible. So what happens is their average energy we say that their average energy u is equal to their individual average velocity is equal to their individual velocity okay so what means that a group of let's say that we have a group of plasma particles this is a group of that plasma particles and they are moving in this direction so every particle have same velocity which means that their average velocity will be same okay what is the what is the formula of average velocity average velocity is equals to uh, number of particles for example we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 divided by its number 1 2 3 4 and 4 it will be equal to 2 when all the particles are moving with the same velocity then their average will be equal we have we are saying that there is no collision there there is no thermal energy for uh, any for any molecule and their velocity is same so this is some as uh, our assumption for that for this plasma so let's see that let's move on we say that u is the average velocity of a particle present in this unit volume this unit volume ha is moving this direction with velocity u okay this is the velocity u and dv is the total number of particles in the volume dv and dv is the total number of particles you we know that uh, and divided with, is this because this is the plasma density or the number density you can say so number density is equals to this term let's see the number density is equals n is equals to let's say that and not divided by per unit volume so dv let's say so total number of particles will be equals to n not into dv because this dv will be cancelled out with this dv and n will be equals to let's say n not so i hope you can understand so for the overall we, if we want to calculate this for for this whole red container what we will do this we will integrate this over this whole volume okay this is a volume element and this is the whole volume then what we will do we will integrate over the this term over the whole volume so now equation of what equation of continuity describes us okay let's see that what equation of continuity describes us Equation of continuity describes us the conservation of fluid. 
how it describes the conservation of fluid. Let's have an example. We say that we have a pipe. Okay. So, just like this. So, what happens that when a fluid enters through this pipe, it will be equal to the exiting pipe. Okay. Inward and outward should be equal. Okay. If there is no material here and no viscosity, no friction, nothing else, then inward fluid should be equal to the outward fluid. This, this is what equation of continuity tells us. Other thing what con equation of continuity tells us is that conservation of matter conservation of matter required that the total number of particle n in a volume v changes only if there is a net flux of particle crossing through the surface which bounds the volume let's see that let's see that we have a sponge you say that you have a foam or a sponge what you do is you have let's say that this is a sponge and what you do is it this is a wet sponge and you squeeze it there is a number of molecules of water let's say it it's it it has absorbed some number of molecules of water when you squeeze it what happens some of the water goes out okay the the number of water that goes out from this sponge or from this thing is move out the thing moving out from this surface okay so the moving out surface let's say that this moving surface is equal to the flux okay what is flux and uh, we have seen about the magnetic flux or electric flux number of field lines passing through a certain surface area for example this this is my hand and this is the electric field line so electric field line passing through this from my hand is the flux number of flux if there are two field lines okay if there are two field lines passing through this surface area this is the surface area normal area of my hand so for the fluid let's say that if there is a pipe okay and this pipe have a cross sectional area this one which i have made this black so what happens that the number of this is a larger cross section area as compared to this one and the number of particles we have Bernoulli's equation a v is equals to a1 v1 is equals to a2 v2 but we are not going that way we are not going to consider fluid mechanics that much but for our understanding we can say that flux is equal to the number of particles passing through this surface area or this cross section area so i hope you can understand what i'm trying to say i can go further for it so let's go and talk about the derivation now now you have understand what equation of continuity is in fluid dynamics so the rate of change of total number of particles is written as this partial and this n is the total number of particles in dv here and uh, from this equation number one let's name it as this is equation number one so this is equation number a let's say so from equation a we can write this is equals to this term this term equals to this term from equation number a so partial n by partial t is equals to volume integral of this term now what we are going to do is we are going to we are going to separate this volume elements okay this is dv what we are going to do is we know that the volume is equals to volume is equals to length multiply by width multiply by height let's say so this will be d this area equals to d of s let's say if this is d of v length into which is equals to surface area multiplied by its length or height let's say x okay so this is equals to d of x into d of 
s or x into d of s we have a variable volume from that if the d any one of them is changing then we will have a variable term in in the product so d of x into ds or we can simply write x into ds so then what will happen that this partial by partial t over this x which is a length component will be equal to the velocity we know that s is equals to v into t and v is equals to s divided by t s is equals to v into t and v is equals to s by t so from that partial x by partial t is equals to velocity now what we will do this is a surface integral this is the surface flux you can say surface flux tends to surface flux so what we will do that by the divergence theorem we know that by the divergence theorem the surface integral equals to the divergence of that vector uh, when uh, there is a surface integral over a vector this is a vector u then its divergence is equal to the volume integral like this we have seen it in mathematical methods for physics you understand that what this divergence theorem is so from this divergence theorem you can write that partial n by partial t is equals to minus v divergence of this u into d v so now the negative sign here represents here we have a negative sign what this negative sign means let's say that the negative sign indicates that there is a net outward flow and there is a decrease in the number in the change in volume in the change in volume but i have told you that when you have this sponge or this a piece of foam or anything which can absorb water or any fluid when you will squeeze it when you will press it uh, it the water or anything will move out the number of density for example we have 10 molecules here before applying any kind of pressure okay before squeezing it when we squeezed it here we have two molecules got out from it so the number of molecules inside will be eight which means that eight is 10 is greater than 8 or we can say that 8 is less than 10 as the number of particles are decreasing so we will write this with a negative sign here so let's move on let's see that when this partial n by partial t comes this equation comes here from left side to the right from right side to the left we'll, we will have an equation like this now from our equation number one this is our equation number one you can say that this partial by partial t is equals to partial n by u into dv is equal to this here partial n by partial this is a partial n by partial t and this is of equation number one from equation number one we can write this term as this one here so we will write instead of this term we will write this one here and we will take the volume integral common and uh, the overall term will get zero for that we will take uh, let's say that a volume integral dv cancel out here and d n by dt this partial integral will be converted into the exact integral d n by dt plus del dot n u equals to zero you can put the volume integral you can remove that it's all about u so this equation is the main equation is the equation is our result and which is called the equation of continuity for the plasma or which is called the equation of continuity in fluid dynamics so i hope you've understand what i've said and in the next lecture we are talking about we are going to talk about the convective derivatives and how they are formed we will talk about their different examples so thank you very much for your time and i hope you've enjoyed my lecture so subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends until then assalamu alaikum and uh, Thank you very much for your time.